We're going to have fun with bread. We're baking. <laughs> Nine grams of yeast. 390 grams, grams not many liters of water. Take a spoon, a fork, <laughs> take a fork, mix it and let it sit for 20 minutes. Left the water, the yeast and the uh, flour for 20 minutes to rest for a process to start called autolysis. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly, but anyway, now I'm going to add the salt and it's 10 grams of salt. First, we mix it low speed, 10 minutes. I'm going to get it right. I've never got the bread dough elastic enough, like to be perfect, but we keep going, we keep doing until we get it right. Hopefully. Stretch enough, it's still, still sticky. So I think it still needs a bit of mixing. Mixing minutes, high speed. We let it rest for 10, 20 or 30 minutes, and then we mix it again for like six minutes. And I stopped it because it looks shiny. That's how it's it's supposed to look. <laughs> okay, see you in 30 minutes. This is. I think it's oh, it almost doubled the... We put it on the counter and I'm going to try to fold it. I'm not very used to it, but it doesn't matter. We're going to try anyway. That's how you learn. We don't, you don't know, we don't know, but we do it anyway. It's sticky. But we do it anyway. It's sticky. Get it like this. Yeah. I think I'm going to let it rest for one minute. Do it again. Let it rest for a few minutes, relax a bit. Sometimes I'm worried I shouldn't because this is a learning process. Everything in life is a learning process. So, learning process and having fun. So I'm having fun folding the dough, which looks way better now. So, this is the last fold. Nice, and I'm going to let it for the final proof, I think, no, this is the bulk proof, it's called. I'm going to put it in this bowl with a bit of oil in it to let it rise as much as it wants without sticking to the edges. So it's in the bowl, nice and tucked in. Okay, it has a bit. So, after 45 minutes, I think almost an hour, doubled in size, we put it on a table, cut it in half. I think this is half. Okay, put this part away. Try to shape it in the bowl, tuck it in, turn it around. Try to put a bit of tension into it, that's the point. Okay, cover it, let it to proof for 30 40 minutes again, and then we start baking. Ready, 
Everything looks absolutely perfect. This one didn't rise as much as I was expecting. I have a tray which is already flowered. Hopefully the dough, the bread is going to get nice and easy out of the basket. Hopefully. Ah, there you go. The other one is here. Now, allow it to rise a bit more. It looks like there's a lot of flour on the top. In the oven, 220 for 20 minutes with some water on the bottom. Help the bread rise and then turn it down 200 degrees another 20 minutes. See you afterwards and see what we get. Now this looks promising. I don't even know if I should put it here. Quickly. One here, one here. Listen to this. I have to go to show you this. It's been a few minutes since I took it out of the oven. And now it released some of the tension. <laughs> it's true, it had a bit of tension because of the steam inside. And it's been crackling until now. And even now it does. And now listen how it sounds. It's absolutely perfect. So you can make bread.